lessons. Can't you just picture it? Moi, stepping out in a stunning new gown at the Grand Galloping Gala in Canterlot. Why, yes, I did make it myself. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, oh, well, of course you can help me. Thank you. What's that? You want to help me more? Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? <laughs> Careful now, don't move. This shouldn't take long at all. My little pony, my little pony. Ah, I used to wonder what friendship could be. So you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Can't you see Rarity's trying to concentrate? What do you think she's making? Looks like a dress. Well, that makes sense, since this is a dressmaker shop and all. <laughs> is there something I can help you with? Oh, so very sorry to trouble you, Rarity, but I need a quick favor. Could you please fix a button for me? It's my dress for the Grand Galloping Gala. <gasps> oh, no, no, no! You can't wear this... Uh, old thing. You need a glamorous new outfit for the gala, and I'll make it for you. No problem at all. It would be my pleasure. Oh, that's really sweet of you to offer, Rarity. But I, I can't let you do that. It would be so much work. This dress is fine. Twilight Sparkle, I insist on making you a new dress. But not another word. I won't take no for an answer. Well, in that case... Thank you for your generosity, Rarity. Knowing your handiwork, I'm sure it will be absolutely beautiful. Let me guess, Applejack. You don't want a new gown either. Gown? Shoot, I was just gonna wear my old work duds. <gasps> you can't possibly be serious, Applejack. You absolutely must wear formal attire. Hmm. Nah. What if I just spruce up your, uh, duds for you a little bit? Uh, okay, sure, why not? Since you're offering and all, just don't make them too, uh, frou-frou-y. Deal! Look out below! <laughs> Sorry, new trick. Didn't quite work. <laughs> hmm... <gasps> Idea! I'll make you an outfit for the gala too, Rainbow Dash! Outfit for the what now? I'll make one for you, and you, and all of you. Oh, and of course, Pinky and Fluttershy, too. Oh, and when I'm done, we can hold our very own fashion show. What a great idea. If you're sure you can handle it. Oh, it'll be a little bit of work, but it'll be a wonderful boost for my business. Plus, fun. Oh, I love fun things. Then it's settled. We'll have a fashion show starring us. Yay! Yay! So... To do is make a different, stunning, original, amazing outfit for one, two, three, four, five, plus yourself six ponies and lickety split. Oh, Applejack, you make it sound as if it's going to be hard. Thread by thread, stitching it together. Twilight stress, cutting out the patterns, snip by snip, making sure the fabric falls nicely. It's the perfect color and so hip. Always gotta keep in mind my pacing, making sure the clothes correctly facing. I'm stitching Twilight stress. Yard by yard, fussing on the details. Jewel neckline. Don't you know a stitch in time saves nine? Make her something perfect to inspire. Even though she hates formal attire. Gotta mind those intimate details. Even though she's more concerned with sales. It's Applejack's new dress. Dress making's easy. For Pinkie Pie something pink. Flat 
Fluttershy something breezy. Blend color and form, do you think it looks cheesy? Something brash, perhaps quite fetching. Hook and I couldn't you just simply die? Make it sure it fits for lock and crest. Don't forget some magic in the dress. Even though it rides high on the flank, rainbow won't look like a tank. I'm stitching rainbow dress. Piece by piece, snip by snip, group duck haunch, shoulders, hips, thread by thread, primmed and pressed, yard by yard, never stressed. And that's the art of the dress. Don't look. Okay, you can look now. <gasps> These are your new outfits. What do you think of your old duds now, Applejack? Pretty swanky, are they not? <laughs> I'm Twilight. I made this dress for you, and I designed each outfit themed to perfectly reflect each pony's unique personality. <gasps> Oh, it took me forever to get the colors right on this one, Rainbow Dash, but I did it. Oh, and it turned out beautiful, don't you think? Oh, and I know you're going to love yours, Fluttershy. It just sings spring. And Pinkie Pie, look, pink, your favorite. Aren't they all amazing? Wow, they're... Yeah, they're... They sure are, uh, something. Yes, something. I love something. Something is my favorite. It's nice. But what's the matter? Don't you like them? They're very nice. And we're plum grateful because you work so hard on them. Mine's just not as cool as I was imagining. She asked. I guess what we're all saying is that they're just not what we had in mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. oh. That's okay. Not a problem. There's plenty more where that came from. They were only a first pass. You're my friend, and I want you to be 110% satisfied. Not to worry. I'll redo them. Oh, Rarity, you don't have to do that. They're fine. I want them to be better than just fine. I want you to think they're absolutely perfect. Are you sure? I mean, we wouldn't want to impose. Oh, it's no imposition. Really, I insist. Well, in that case, thank you again, Rarity. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Hello? You wanted to see me, Rarity? Fluttershy! Your new, new gown's ready. I completely revised it, and I know you're going to love it. What do you think? I... Love it. Oh, you're just saying that. No, no, I do. It's nice. 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 If you don't like it, you should just tell me. Oh, but I do like it. Like it or love it? Um, both. Which is it? B please stop asking me this. I... Well, just tell me what you really think. No, that's okay. Tell me. No, it's fine. Tell me. I like it. Me too, me too, me too, me too, me too! All right, since you really want to know. <gasps> the arm size tight, the midi collar doesn't go with the shawl lapel, the hems are clearly machine stitched, the pleats are uneven, the fabric looks like toile, used a back stitch here when it clearly called for a top stitch, or maybe a traditional blanket stitch, and the overdesign is reminiscent of prêt a porter and not true French haute couture. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, whatever you want to do is fine. Now, the stars on my belt need to be technically accurate. Orion has three stars on his belt, not four. Stitch by stitch, stitching it together. Deadline looms, don't you know the client's always right? Even if my fabric choice was perfect, gotta get them all done by tonight. Picky by the colors, too obtrusive. Wait until you see it in the light. I'm sewing them together. Don't you think my gown would be more me with some lollipops? Well, I think balloons. Well, do it! Hour by hour, one more change. I'm sewing them together. Take great pains. Fluttershy, you're putting me in a bind. Rainbow Dash, what is on your mind? Oh my gosh, there's simply not much time. Don't forget, Applejack does my shine. Dressmaking's easy. Every customer's call.
brings a whole new revision. Have to pick up the pace, still hold to my vision. That constellation is Canis Major, not Minor. French haute couture, please. Uh. Whatever rhymes. Galoshes! More balloons! Oh no, that's too many balloons! More candy! Oh, less candy! Oh wait, I know! Streamers! Streamers? Whose dress is this? Streamers it is. What? Aren't you going to tell me to change something too? No, I just want my dress to be cool. Do you not like the color? The color's fine, just make it look cooler. Do you not like the shape? The shape's fine, just make the whole thing, you know, cooler. It needs to be about 20% cooler. All we ever want is indecision. All we really like is what we know. Gotta balance style with adherence. Making sure we make a good appearance. Even if you simply have to fudge it. Make, make sure, sure that it stays within, within our budget. Got to overcome intimidation. Remember, it's all in the presentation. Piece by piece, snip by snip. Group dog hum, shoulders hip. Bolt by bolt, pruned and pressed. Yard by yard, always stressed. And that's the art of the dress. dresses I've ever made. <sighs> okay, I did exactly what each of you asked for. Now don't hold back. Let me know what you really think. Oh, it's mine. Perfect. It's cool. Wow. They're the best duds I ever did see. It's, it's exactly, exactly what, what I, I asked for. for. <sighs> Thank you, Rarity. <gasps> are you as happy with them as we are? <laughs> well, I'm... Happy that all of you are happy. I'm just relieved to finally be done. You are never gonna believe this! You've heard of Hoity Toity? The big wig fashion hotshot in Canterlot? Uh huh! He heard about your fashion show. Well, maybe I happened to mention it to him. He's coming here all the way from Canterlot to see your work, Rarity! <laughs> Whoa, Nelly! You could sell a ton of dresses to this guy. Your business will be booming. That's yeah. so cool! Amazing! Oh, hoity-toity, he's coming here to see these dresses? Yep, get ready for all your dreams to come true! Rarity. Your friends like their outfits, and so will he. Whoa! What's wrong with the lights? Ah! Oh, yes, that means the show's starting. Good. Since the beginning of time, the elite of Equestria have longed for pony fashions that truly express the essence of their very souls. Patiently waiting decades, no, centuries, for the perfect pony gown. Today, at long last, Equestria, your wait is over. Let's hear it for the breathtaking designs of Pony Bell's own Ready! Amateurish designs look like a piled-on mishmash of everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a travesty, is what it is. Those outfits are the ugliest things I've ever seen. Oh, for shame. Who is responsible for subjecting our eyes to these horrors? Not to mention wasting my valuable time. Oh, that's quite neat. Come on out and take a bow, 
Rarity, you worked really hard for this. Yes! All right! Go, Rarity! Oh, she oh, she Beautiful, beautiful dresses. But now every pony is laughing at me. I'm nothing but a laughing stock. <laughs> You're not a laughing stock, Rarity. She kind of is. Shh. Come on out and talk to us. Leave me alone. <laughs> I want to be alone. I want to wallow in whatever it is the ponies are supposed to wallow in. Do ponies wallow in pity? Oh, listen to me. I don't. <laughs> now what do we do? Uh, panic? That's your answer for everything. Well, we can't just leave Rarity like this. She'll become a crazy cat lady. She only has one cat. Give her time. Hmm. Exile. I guess technically I'd have to move away to live in exile. Where would I go? And what would I pack? Oh, it's going to take me forever to do all of that packing. What are you supposed to pack when you go into exile? Are you supposed to pack warm? Huh? Opal? <coughs> Opal, how did you get up there? Hang on, you poor dear. Mama's coming! <coughs> Rainbow Dash? How dare you strand my poor Opal in a tree? Well, how else were we going to get you out here to show you this? What is it? It's... Uh, you... Huh? We all finished your dress for you. Thanks to Fluttershy's freaky knowledge of sewing. Do you like it? Like it. Like it. Uh-oh. She doesn't like it. No, I don't like it. Aww. Aww. You ponies did an amazing job. It's exactly the way I imagined it. We just followed your brilliant design. Like we should have let you do for our outfits. Those first dresses you designed were perfect. We're so super sorry. You worked really hard to make our dresses exactly the way we wanted them. And we all saw how well that turned out. Oh, I forgive you. Well, that's mighty big of you. But my whole career is still ruined. Oh, right. That. Maybe not. <laughs> all right, I haven't got all day. Take two. Can't be the same designer. Simply magnificent! And I suddenly have a fierce craving for some Dutch apple pie, candied apples on a stick, apple turnovers, apple cobbler. Oh, these dresses are absolutely amazing! Who 
is responsible. Step forward, show yourself. Bravo, bravo, magnifico. Oh, oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Dear Princess Celestia, this week, my very talented friend Rarity learned that if you try to please every pony, you oftentimes end up pleasing no pony, especially yourself. And I learned this. When some pony offers to do you a favor, like making you a beautiful dress, you shouldn't be overly critical of something generously given to you. In other words, you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Rarity, my congratulations to you on a most impressive fashion debut. Would you do me the great honor of allowing me to feature your couture in my best of the best boutique in Canterlot? <gasps> now, I'll need you to make a dozen of each dress for me by next Tuesday. <laughs>